Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today we're gonna to do the Vivor uh, diesel heater. And I'm gonna get this all set up in my six by 12 enclosed trailer. I got a new can of diesel and I have this little heat meter. So when we get it all hooked up, we're gonna check out the temperatures, see how fast it heats up inside of the trailer and try to figure out a way to mount this thing in the trailer so it's out of the way and efficient for me this winter with snowmobiling. So here we go, let's check it out. Okay guys, here we are. I got this table set up in my trailer. I got a shop light set up so I can uh, work into the night if I have to, setting this uh, Vivor diesel heater up. I got a, a bunch of tools and hardware if I need it. You know, it came with everything, but just in case I, you know, have some other ideas, I got this tin just, you know, for a heat shielding. I got some scrap wood. I'm just gonna try to make a shelf up over here and I got some more van tech. We'll see what I come up with and uh, we'll ex go over it in the end and get it all fired up and I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, we'll uh, speed this video up with a like, time lapse and uh, I'll do like some close up video of it so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, but at the end of it, I'll go over it and uh, show you how this thing's uh, panning out and working.
I've been working on this for a few hours and I got it all figured out and this is what I got. Kind of just run it like this. this is my battery. I haven't hooked up a solar panel to that yet, but it does have a battery tender on that marine battery. But I went straight through the floor, kind of made my own little heat shield. Went in there through the other side with the fuel tank, as you saw. There's the fuel filter. There's the pump. There's the air intake. And I just kind of rigged that up for now, but this thing's kind of, you know, it should be, it's nice and tucked out of the way. I'm going to be putting some carbide runners in here for my snowmobile. And uh, that'll be plenty, there'll be plenty of room in here. Put the thermostat up here, the control. All right, we're gonna get some diesel in this thing and uh, prime the system and try it out. Okay. We're gonna turn it on, press the, press the down key for seven seconds until the display turns 300 and then release, release the down key. At the same time, the pump will start pumping fuel. All right, let's try this. Start heating. Okay, I can hear the fuel pump going. It's starting to let some in. This thing is ramping up like crazy. I don't know if I did it properly or not, but we will see. It's got a lot of air in there. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, baby, let's do this. Look, it's working. It's got a ways to go, though. It doesn't say on here that it's pumping, but I got it to work. I don't know, this was, this was super confusing. I don't know, this one in particular, anyway. Hopefully this thing is primed. And then we got some heat coming out of this thing. Nothing yet. Okay, I don't know, it kind of just did its own thing. I think I'm getting fuel in here. Hoping I am. Yes, it's starting to go. It's still got some air bubbles going on though. Whoa. So it's oh it's working. Okay. This is hot. This exhaust is hot. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Turn this baby up too. I don't know if I get that on right or not. This thing is like super Celsius. Oh yeah. We get heat. Heat's coming. Alright. I took this cap off just to see if it could climb better. I didn't know if there's a problem here. This cap. I don't think there is. It was just taking a minute.
see what we got for heat coming out of this. Yeah. Ooh, 150, 160. 200. Pretty hot. Cool, cools off down there though. See how that works out. I don't know if that's adequate. It seems to be working so far. It's got some nice heat coming out of it. So there you have it. It is blowing some nice heat. It is, I mean, I can barely keep my hand there. It's so hot. It really is. It's, uh, that pump is pretty loud, but I can sleep through it. Maybe I can cover that up with some insulation somehow and muffle it too. But I'm gonna let this thing run for a while and uh, we'll uh, see how long it, it runs for, make sure there's no issues. I'll have to figure out that programming it and all that stuff, but. Okay, uh, this is the next day. I started this thing up in the morning, probably like an hour and a half ago. And it's on, let's see, it's on the lowest setting. And I'm pointing this at the walls and it's coming up with 48 degrees on the walls. So that means the air in between, you know, we're probably looking at like 50, 55, maybe 60 degrees in here. And I mean, that's on the lowest setting. And it only took like, I don't even know if it did it instantly or if it took a, an hour and a half, but it's been running an hour and a half. But I'm gonna turn this up. Probably to 19 degrees Celsius. And I am going to get the solar panel hooked up on this. Okay, I got the thermostat turned up to 19 degrees Celsius, so that's about like halfway. And now the walls are showing 57 degrees. The airspace is definitely like 65 at least, maybe even warmer. So this is this trailer is not even insulated. I'll some thin foil insulation to go around all of this, but for now, I mean, it's like 24 degrees outside today, and it's it's adequate. I mean, I, I would have no problem sleeping this overnight. The only thing so far that's annoying is this pump is a little loud. I don't know what I can do. I might insulate this box somehow and maybe that'll quiet it down. Uh, we got the solar panel right here. This is like a maintainer 30 watt solar panel. Here it is right here. I found it on uh, Amazon. It was in like 60 bucks, I think it was. It's a pretty good size. Uh, and it's a pretty good sized panel. I'm gonna try to figure out a spot to mount it outside. I'm not quite sure what I wanna do with it yet. I think I kinda of wanna have it so I can unplug it and bring it in. And so while I'm pulling the trailer down the road, it's not on the elements of the salt and all the stuff like that. All right, here we go, we're gonna dig in.
hope you liked the video on the Vivor or Vevor uh, diesel heater, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'll have an updated video of this out snowmobiling and I'm gonna insulate the inside of this trailer a little bit and let you know you know how this thing's running and it, it's uh, all tidied up, wired up nice. All directly to solar now. 60 watt, no, sorry, 30 watt solar panel all set up. And I'll let you know how that's been maintaining this battery. I also left uh, a battery maintainer on this ready to plug in and I can disconnect the solar from it. Like while I'm sitting at home or something, I don't have the solar panel on, I can keep this plugged in if I'm not gonna be using this trailer for a long period of time. But for now, with the good weather outside, I'm gonna probably leave that hooked up and see how it maintains this battery. All right guys, like and subscribe.